screen? Yes, the screen is visible. Okay, wait, how do I, I have no idea how to do this. Just give me a minute. Okay, sure. Yeah, you can see the screen, right? Yes, the screen is Yes. Okay, uh, hi everyone. To those uh, who don't know me, I'm Dasad. I'll, uh, and today we are at Chennai Solid Work User Group. Chennai Solid Work User Group. I'm very happy to be here. And the topic of today's presentation is everything about the uh, challenges. I think most of you know about the uh, topic. I mean, uh, since it's posted on uh, you know social media, LinkedIn, and everywhere, and also most of you are curious about what is this challenge, what is this Dassault challenges, and what is he going to explain and everything. So I'll tell you about the Dassault challenges in detail. I mean, I'm not going to say it's a hundred percent detail because even I don't know. You know, even though I researched, but even I might miss out on some things. So yeah, today uh, I'll be presenting on every, uh, the Dassault system challenges, what it is and how you can uh, you know, participate in the challenge, what you'll get by participating in the challenge, and what are the advantages and what you can carry with you if you participate in the challenges. Uh, yeah, so before that, I'll tell you a little introduction about me. Yeah, so I'm Prasad Adiga, as you all know. So who am I really? So I'm uh, a solid work user group leader. So uh, I've been a solid work user group leader since more than a year. And about, uh, I think most of you have seen some LinkedIn posts. And also as Krishna uh, introduced me, I'm a solid work user group leader. And I'm a mechanical design engineer and I'm a solid works champion. Uh, I don't want to get deep into the uh, solid works champion thing. But uh, if you have seen some LinkedIn posts like SolidWorks, I became a SolidWorks champion. I am one of them, and Krishna is also one of them. And so, yeah, this is my little introduction. So, coming to the topic now, um, most of you might have thought when I said design challenge, what challenges and what challenges are you talking about? Like those who haven't heard. Of it, you'll be confused, right? Like, what is this challenge, and what am I? What are these? The solve. System challenges. So, system challenges are actually these. So, the Sol system hosts number of challenges every year, and they host more than 10, 15 plus challenges. And the challenges have categories. So, one is professional challenges, and the other is student challenges. So, professional challenges are mostly for those people who are working in an industry like manufacturing or startups. So they have those kind of challenges as well, like where uh, they'll invite you, if you are working in a startup, they'll invite you for a pitch deck. So you'll have to present your, uh, you know, you'll have to present your startup uh, pitch deck in front of them and uh, the winners will be decided later. So that is a professional challenge area. And the one which I'm going to talk to you about is student challenges. So the Soul system hosts number of student challenges, especially students. If you are a professional, you can also participate in challenge has some uh, requirement that you have to be a student. Those are called student challenges. So the Soul, why does these uh, challenges uh, are hosted by the Soul system? The main thing why the Soul system hosts these challenges is to encourage innovation and collaboration among students and the industry professionals. So you might have felt this if you are in, uh, you know, if you are a new joiner to college, engineering colleges, that you feel like all the theoretical subjects are very different from what you think the industry professionals are doing. So to bridge the gap, the whole system. And these challenges uh, will provide you many, many, many things like access to the Sol system products 
and networking with other like-minded people and also funding to do your fundings like prizes and everything and it, it, it it's a it's the best place skills that's the first that's that's the most important thing and you'll also learn a lot like once you enroll in a challenge you'll also get access to learning materials and you'll also get access to professional uh, licenses so that's one of the things so some of the major challenges that you might have seen uh, are like three year akriti Auto da vinci challenge uh, i'm not sure how many of you have uh, heard of this but these are some of the very uh, most known challenges in the dassault system uh, challenges area but what are the objectives why dassault system pose these challenges well the first one is to empower you like you may or may not know some things about designing or anything related to designing if you you will be you will have an idea but you don't know what to do after that so uh, so uh, the solve system hosts these challenges so that you can know uh, you know get your idea from idea to product and to inspire you so you may have some inspiring ideas i'm not just talking that you'll have an idea but uh you don't know how to do you have some inspiring idea like uh, sustainability you want to make some changes in carbon footprints that is being uh, you know produced from us so to inspire you to be innovative and creative and also provide some solution for sustainable cities this challenges the next thing is to prepare you what do you mean by prepare you uh, so prepare you means now you are all students right so one day you are going to pass out from the college and go to the industry so you also need to have some industrial knowledge to enter the industry it is not just like you are done with the college you done all the exams and then you go to work directly right you also need to know what are all the standards or what are all the things that is being uh uh you know what are all the things that is being processed by the industry like whatever we learn is not the one which we are going to apply in the work area so you will also need to know more once you go to the uh, job so this challenges will prepare you for the job you want in the future so why should you participate i mean most of you will have these questions like i mean there are challenges but why should i participate like i have some free time and then i'll watch a movie or maybe i'll just go to some other cities and see the uh, areas see some sceneries why should i participate here instead so there are number of things why you should participate in a the first one is to show off your talent of course the challenges are the these challenges are the best place where you can show off your creativity intelligence design knowledge or ideas that you have like let's say i have an idea to reduce the carbon footprint but uh in college i cannot do it because there are no such challenges in college uh where should i you know show off my creativity right you have you need some place to show off your creativity these challenges are the best place for you to show off your talent in design or whatever the thing that you do not just designing when i say uh, talent it may be your manufacturing talent or you may have some talent like uh, you know creating a product sketch and creating a cad model of that or you may have some talent in uh, manufacturing how to manufacture you can't just design a product in cad and then expect someone to do the uh, uh, the product right so you, someone will be there who are experts in ma manufacturing so you can show off your talents in uh, building the prototype or anything like that so this is the best place for you to show off your talents i'm not just talking about a single aspect not just design i'm talking about your presentation skills your business development skills so you can show off everything so the solar system challenges are not just a design challenge it is uh, you have to uh, follow the entire life cycle of the design from design to product so you have to present what you have done in design you have to present what is your business case you did the uh, prototype or model so this will be a best place for you to learn uh, and then also show your talent and the next thing is like i said boost employability so when you participate in these designs design challenges i'm sorry 
so when you participate in these design challenges, you learn a lot about industry standards. It is not just like, okay, I have a product, I did the design, and then I did the product. So before doing the product, you will also have to follow some rules and standards which are followed by the industry. So this will be a very good place for you to learn those standards. And also, you can put these in your resumes. resumes and later, when someone sees your profile, okay, they'll know that you have some industry knowledge, you have some capability in you. So your employability employability will boost itself. So these challenges will help you get a job also. And I'm not just talking in any other company. If you participate very well and win uh, in one of the challenges, you may have an opportunity to work for the solve itself. So that is one more thing. And sharpen your skills. Uh, most of you know about the SolidWorks certification program, right? Uh, CSWA, CSWP, CSWPA, CSWE. Most of you want to do that. Like most of you want CSWA certificate, CSWE certificate, uh, which will also help you uh, again sharpen your skills. That just does not mean that you will just uh, get some certificates. Those certificates again will also help you uh, to get a job because you'll add it to your portfolios. So these challenges provide. Uh, free CSWA or CSWP vouchers for you and also learning opportunities. So if you participate in uh, any of the challenges, you'll get licenses. So from those licenses, you will also get uh, access to learning materials in 3D uh, experience EDU website. You, look in, you can also learn about this 3D sculpture role, 3D creator role, whatever that is there in 3D experience uh, products. So this will give you a uh, space for space to learn more and sharpen your skills and challenge yourself. Like even though you know software, you know uh, maybe SolidWorks or Katia, uh, I mean, there is always more to learn. It's not like uh, you will know every tool uh, just by opening the software. So you'll there are multiple tools in SolidWorks or 3D experience uh, creator roles that you can utilize, but you won't know unless you try to use that in your designs. So while designing, you learn a lot more about SolidWorks or 3D experience roles than you actually knew before using them. So these, these challenges will provide an opportunity to test your limit. So it is not just like, a, like I'll do a design from whatever the knowledge I have. This will, again, you will have to step up. So this will help you in stepping up the process. And the next is access to resources. Like I said, you once you uh, enter enter to any challenge, you'll get access to Dassault system products like Katia, SolidWorks, DD Experience platforms. So you might have already uh, uh, you know applied for some challenges and also gotten some access to the 3D creator roles from 3D Experience uh, or Model Mania challenges. So this will give you access to official softwares, not just access to official softwares and networking opportunities like just like you there will be many other people who will be present uh, who will be uh, participating in the challenges so you uh, so once you are uh, uh, you know once you apply for the challenge you will be invited for a 3d swim community where you can meet a lot of like minded people and it's not just one or two there will be thousands of people who have enrolled for the challenges you can communicate with them you can see their ideas what their uh, you know thoughts are so this will provide uh, an opportunity for you to network. No, it's, it, it's not like you can just talk with, uh, uh, say, with the people from the same nation. There will be people, uh, there will be students participating from worldwide. So you can connect with them, learn more. This is a great place for it. And exposure and recognition. So once you participate, uh, you'll get a participation uh, certificate. Not just that, if you win. That's a game changer. Like you will be uh, featured in the in the uh, blogs, and also uh, there will be a presentation on you. Uh, like you know, uh, you might have seen the uh, project of the year uh, YouTube videos where they'll provide a complete representation on how uh, what you did and your name and everything. So that's a kind of recognition. And once you win. That will be posted on social media that will again give you more recognition and you will reach more people that okay you have won this competition so this competition these challenges will give you an exposure and also recognition if you win and learning opportunities like i said uh, so once you enroll you'll get free tutorials solidworks cswp i'm sorry solidworks, solidworks cswa and cswp vouchers 
So that is one of the points. Uh, and the last but not the least is exciting prices. I mean, we, we all love some goods for winning, right? So you can win any of these uh, prizes. I'm not just talking, uh, you know, price like you'll get a doll or you'll get a ma, you'll get a small, uh, you know, what do you call that cup, which you can show that okay, I have won this. So this is a complete different kind of uh, exciting prizes. You can win an iPad or you can win a GoPro or you can win anything, whatever. So these challenges are worldwide. So the prizes are limitless and you can win anything. The prizes won't be small or anything. So you have the opportunity to get any of these prizes. So these are the main reasons why you should participate in the challenge. Coming to the next topic. Uh, well, there are some well-known challenges amongst us. Uh, so the first one is obviously the project of the year challenge. Most of you uh, must have seen at least some or the other LinkedIn posts or maybe in SolidWorks blog posts or uh, project of the year has been conducted. So it always conducts in the month of uh, February, March, March and April, May. I have forgot March. It starts. And uh, what is this project of the year? I mean, like the name says, the winner is obviously the, the winner's project is the project of the year. But what is it exactly? So this competition is a worldwide competition. It is not just for a nation or a country. So I mean, I'm sorry, it's not just for a country or a state. So this is a worldwide competition. So all over the world, students will be participating in this challenge. And there is no theme. So you can present whatever the uh, model that you have created, whatever the project that you have created as a submission to the project of the year competition. Let's say you have done some amazing product in uh, electric devices or maybe a robot which can clean the floors automatically or maybe a, a robotic arm which uh, which is a low which is low cost compared to other robotic arms. So there are multiple uh, categories. There is no there is no one or two categories. You can present any any uh, uh, projects in this project of the year competition, and this is worldwide. So you the reach is more. So you you don't have just first, second, third prize. You also have multiple prizes in multiple categories. I'll come to that in a while. And what are the advantages of participating? So again, like I said, this will be an excellent place for you to show off your skills. Again, since this is a worldwide competition, the reach is more, you can show off your design talent, your presentation talents to audience from all over the world. And the networking with like-minded people. So you'll be you'll you'll be added to the 3D swim community again for, for the project of the year competition alone. So whoever is participating in project of the year will be added to the same 3D swim community. So you can post your designs so or you can if you have some doubt, ask it in the community and you'll, you can also get some idea. I mean, not not ideas, I'm sorry. You can also get some, uh, maybe some kind of, uh, uh, you know, improvement on your design. So if you are participating alone, maybe you can partner with someone and you can build a very nice product. So that is one of the uh, advantages and you can develop new skills, experience and enhance your resume. So like I said before, uh, all the challenges will provide some learning opportunities for you. CSW, ACSW, vouchers. Uh, so not all part, not all competitions will provide the vouchers. But yes, you can learn more from others. You can see what others are doing and what you can improve from yourself. And also, once you participate, uh, you'll also if you're selected and win the competition, you'll also get some recognition. You can add that to your portfolio and resume to enhance your uh, you know uh, resume. That is one of the advantages. And yes, if you win the competition, the recognition is worldwide again. So you'll have recognition from all over the world, all the participants and also the viewers from all over the world will see your project. Okay, this guy has won this. Okay, that there must be something good in this project. So not just that, whoever has submitted the project, anybody can see the project. It's not just the winner's project. If I have submitted some silly project, let's say I've submitted some uh, mobile case design, uh, anybody in the world can see that design, what I have done. 
so the recognition is worldwide again if i want to if i'm a uh, uh, if i'm a startup owner who is searching for talent and i'll go through these pro these designs and I'll, maybe i think that's great so this will provide a wide range of recognition for you and again exciting prizes uh, I don't know why I added that, but yes, <laughs> exciting prizes. We all love some goodies. Uh, I'm not kidding. Even I, if I've won in some competition, I wouldn't expect a trophy. Obviously, if they give give me something to improve this case, like maybe a mouse or a keyboard, that would be very great. And I would love that more than the trophy. So yes, let's take a look at the uh, project of the year uh, website. Can you see the screen? I think it's loading now, so you can see the screen. You okay, okay, just a second. Okay. Yeah, can you all see the uh, screen now? Yeah. Yeah. So yes, project of the year happened in 2022. In the 2023 uh, project of the year competition hasn't happened yet. So you'll get more updates uh, soon from the 3D experience, 3D experience labs, and also from the source system themselves. So what uh, you can directly enter through this website to project of the year competition. Like all you have, to, okay, it opens from May to June. So, so you can submit your project anytime between the set time. So in 2022, it opened in May and May uh, second, and between May second and June 19th, you have to do your pro project and you have to submit. But before that, you have to apply for the 3D experience uh, roles. So you can apply and then you can get the uh, You'll be getting an invitation from the DESO systems and you can utilize those softwares to create your designs and later submit your uh, projects. Uh, well, like I said, it is a worldwide competition. So the category uh, of prizes will be much more than one, two, three. So what are those exactly? So there are actually seven uh, categories, I think, yeah, seven categories. So you can win in seven section. If you, even if you did not get the first second prize or anything, the first second prize is not just first second. So it is uh, again, category wise. So again, there are, there is 3D experience prizes. So if you use any of the 3D experience role, you are eligible for 3D experience prizes. Jury votes, so jury will decide uh, which project is the best amongst all the submissions. So based on that, jury will decide the winners and sustainability prizes. What are those? So sustainability prizes are something which is doing, uh, you know, maybe it may be carbon emission or fuel control, fuel emission control. You have some ideas to improve uh, the exhaust gas from the vehicles. Like we all know from petrol vehicles, we are getting exhaust. If you have some idea related to that sustainability uh, you know, category, anything, it, it may not be carbon or something. It may be anything amongst the uh, SDGs, sustainability and development growth. Any of the projects submitted uh, under that will go to sustainability prices and CATIA prices. If you use CATIA to model your designs, you come under the CATIA uh, price category. And if you use SOLIDWORKS, you come under the SOLIDWORKS category. Again, Simulia, if you use, uh, if you provide some amazing, uh, you know, results of your project you by using Simulia, Simulia is a simulation tool. So if you use uh, the Simulia to simulate your project and provide some amazing results than the project that were there before, Again, you come under the Simulia price category and 3D Excite category. So uh, 3D Excite is again, uh, three, uh, I don't know much about it, uh, but I think it's a product uh, animation kind of thing. I don't know much about it, like I said. So if you use 3D Excite to create your projects, you come under the 3D, XP, uh, 3D Excite price category. So you, can, you, can, you have multiple ways to win this competition and get recognition to yourself. So this is a uh, project of the year competition. And coming to the next, we have a short video on project of the year. I'll uh, just play that.
I think there are some issues with the chat here, so we will join us again. So I hope uh, you had understood what he's actually here to say. Uh, Prashad, I think you are muted yourself. You need to unmute yourself. Please unmute. Yeah, I'm sorry, there was a connectivity issue with the internet. Yeah, I'm yeah, so sure. sorry for that. Yeah, yeah we just did the resume. I'll just share that screen. Yes. So yeah, uh, so like the uh, competition said, you have uh, you have to show your innovation. I think you people saw the video, or maybe not. I'll share every detail later to Krishna so that he can convey it to you. And coming to the next design, just a second. Oh. I'm sorry. Where were we? Okay. So the next design. Uh, can you all see the screen? Yes, sir. Uh, you can see the screen, but it's showing the uh, okay. code of yours. Uh, yeah. Okay, so okay. The okay, okay, my bad. Sorry for that. Yeah, is it uh, visible now? Yeah, it's visible. Yeah. So sorry for the uh, disturbances caused by the internet and me. I'm so sorry for that. So yeah, coming to the next design challenge. Not, I mean, sorry, I'm sorry. Not design challenge. Coming to the next, the solar system challenge. It is model mania SolidWorks student challenge. So most of you might have known about this challenge beforehand. And to those who, does, who did not know about what this model mania challenge, what is this model mania challenge? Like, do you do I have to do some model? What kind of model do I need to? Uh, I'll come to that. So model mania is hosted during the 3D experience world every year. So this year also there was a model, model media challenge and most of you might uh, have participated in the competition. So to those who does not know about this challenge, this challenge is about how fast you can design and change your design. How fast you can change, you can design if given a 2D drawing of the model. So, sorry. So, this model mania is specifically for students. Uh, it is not for professionals because professionals have much more knowledge. Uh, since it is hosted during 3D experience, you have to use 3D experience products to create the model and then submit for this challenge. But how do you do it? So every year, uh, model mania is hosted during the 3D experience world. And every year, they, they, they are the the hosts of the challenge will give design sheets. So they'll give you the diagrams and also the changed 2D diagram. You will have to design this 2D diagrams, uh, design these 2D sketches by using a 3D designer role. That is in, again, 3D experience roles. That is one of the 3D experience roles. So you have to create the models using 3D designers and uh, you have to design it fast. So you cannot be slow. You, can, you, you cannot be like, okay, I just have to submit the design. So you also have to record the video. So that is why you have to uh, design as fast as you can. And next, uh, again, there is there will be two, two sketches. So since there will be two sketches, you have to design the first stage and then change whatever that is there in the second stage. And you have to change it as fast as possible because time will be running. And after that, after you've done the changing, the modeling and the changes, you have to submit. But how do you do that? So what you have to do is there won't be a submit button in this challenges. So what you have to do is you have to post the recording in the solid, uh, 3D experience TDU students community. Uh, to those uh, who does not know about TDU community, I'll just show that in a while. Yes, after that, if you win, you can win exciting prizes. I, again, I don't know why I added this. Now I'm realizing that it was already told again and again. But yes, th this is the competition. So we'll just go to the 3D experience world, uh, uh, you know, challenge dashboard. So this is Modern Media 2023 Solidworks Students Challenge. 
So this is the drawings that will be given to you. So first you have to design it using 3D designer role. And after that, whatever the dimensions that, ha that have been given, that has to be exact because uh, it won't be like your, your designs won't be verified. Your design will be verified, obviously. And later you have, there will be some changes mentioned in the second drawing. So you have to make the changes as fast as possible because your time will be running. Uh, so you have to record and then send it, right? So your time will be running. So you have to change the dimensions as fast as possible. And also you have to simulate it. So you have like, like uh, the uh, conditions that are given here, you have to apply these conditions and then change it and then provide the result. So what you should do. So you have to study the two drawings carefully and then start designing later. So, so you, you have a timeline. So it won't, uh, you know, it won't start from the moment of 3D experience. You will be given time beforehand. So you can, so before it was November 1st, 2020 seconds to January 27th. So you had to submit your, uh, your submission within this time in the student community. But what is the student community? So student community is again a 3D swim, uh, 3D swim where, let's just log in. So where you can collab, you know, where you can ask any kind of questions related to 3D experience, SolidWorks, or anything. Okay, and yeah. So you have to post your recording in this community, and you have to also use hashtags that will be given uh, the. Um, the, the, what you have to do while posting, everything will be, uh, you know, given to you during the uh, during the uh, contest. So this is the 3D experience uh, EDU. Yeah, this is the uh, 3D experience EDU swim. So you have to post your uh, your recordings in this in this platform. Yeah, we'll just move on to the next next topic. And well, previously we discussed about two uh, worldwide challenges which will be happening all over the world. So the next challenge is a little different. So now I'll be talking about country specific. So the I think you might have already known the contest is none other than Akriti. Uh, most of you who who were in college from 2020 to 2023 must have known this. Uh, even I participated in Akriti. So Akriti is a nationwide challenge. It's not a worldwide challenge. It's a nationwide challenge. So this is specifically conducted for India and students in Indian community. So to participate in this in this challenge, you have to and you have to be a student and you have to uh, be enrolled in an educational agency, educational institute. My bad. So what is this? This was initially launched in 2011. That was the first time an Akriti was launched. And this is a nationwide product design contest. So you have to, there will be themes. It is not like an open theme contest or open theme challenge, like the project of the year challenge. This is a theme wise, theme based challenge. And uh, you have to present, you have to create your designs according to the themes that are set during the challenges. Uh, well, like I said, it's a theme based challenge. The objective of this challenge is to, again, to show off your skills, creativity, and abilities to design products according to the design. So you may have some product ideas, you can demonstrate the product idea and you can create the product uh, and demonstrate how it works in this challenge and provide exposure to students about the latest trends in technology and industry. So you won't be just designing on your own. So there will be industry professionals who will be guiding you. Like you can ask uh, help for your professors or maybe anyone who can mentor you to do the projects. And this, this specific challenge will help you create a bridge between your academy and industry. So just with academy, you cannot you know, directly into the industry, even if you do the, the trainings and everything. So this will help you in, uh, you know, stepping up your profile for the job you want. But again, I think I've explained this so many times why you should participate. Uh, so the primary thing is, so he, in this competition, instead of, you know, winning all the booties and everything, You'll have you you can win a prize uh, worth of three lakhs. Like the part, like there are four second third places and also uh, jury jury voted uh, 
special prizes. So the pool prize amount is worth of three lakhs. So you can win that and you, you will get CSWK and CSWP vouchers. All the participants will get CSWK and CSWP vouchers. And again, you'll get access to SOLIDWORKS as well as student uh, 3D experience licenses. So if you want to use SOLIDWORKS, you can use SOLIDWORKS or you can, if you want to use 3D experience roles, you can use that as well. And if you win in this competition, you may have uh, some opportunity at the Soul Systems India. So these are the uh, advantages of participation and winning. So last year, Akriti hosted five teams. And just give me a second. So yeah, the first team was good health and well-being. The second one was sustainable cities and communities. And affordable and green energy was the third one. And responsible consumption was the fourth. And life below water. So you could your pro, whatever the project that you're going to design has to be in one of these categories. In 2021, there were four. In 2022, there are there are five categories. In 2023, you'll see what are the categories that will be there in the contest. And the contest timeline, again, it will be uh, starting from 10th June. Uh, so I think this year also it will be starting in mid-June somewhere. So you will have some time to design and then uh, submit your projects. So it's not like you have to have your projects ready. You'll get some time. You have to ideate your projects and then move to the, uh, if you can move to the model uh, stage, you can move and then you can submit your model or you can submit your idea first and then later you can uh, carry on your design stages and later preparing the product design. So you can either do that or you can first present your idea and then move to the uh, product design stage. And then after that, you'll have initial design concept submission. So until initial IDC submission, everyone can submit for IDC. It is not like just because, uh, you know, uh, I don't have, like, let's say uh, you have done, uh, you have uh, presented the, you have already submitted your idea, but there is there, there, there's like five days left for the IDC submission. You can still prepare your model and submit for IDC, but candidates will be filtered out after IDC section. So based on the categories that you have uh, submitted, if it is relatable to the category that you have submitted, the project is relatable to the category, then you'll move on to the next stage. So the final uh, product design submission is again filtered out. So once you do the final uh, product design submission, there is no going back. So you have to, uh, in the final Akriti event, you have to demonstrate your, pro uh, your prototype. So that will again be happening in the month of November and December. So last year you might have seen it happened in the Social Systems uh, Lab in Pune. Uh, there were a number of cat, uh, number of people who participated, and the projects were amazing. So this is the Akriti uh, contest. So we have a little video on Akriti. We just see that.
So that is uh, everything about Akriti challenge. And I'm sorry again. And coming to the next challenge, uh, again, oh, just a second. Can you guys see the screen? Or is it again? Yes. yes. Yeah. So the next challenge is uh, the climate action, uh, take climate action challenges. So like the name suggests, this is everything uh, which has to do with climate. Since we all know global warming is increasing and there is a lot of emission that is happening uh, because of manufacturing and from vehicles. Uh, so if you have some innovative ideas that uh, can help in reducing the carbon emission to the environment, uh, this challenge is specifically for you. Let, let's say you have done uh, some, you have some idea in, you know, in, in a product which can help uh, reduce the carbon emissions and maybe not just carbon emission, which can help the environment, not just the society and the environment as well, and to the world globally which you think if it can help uh, in reducing carbon emissions, this challenge is specifically for you. So you can pitch your idea for taking action in, uh, in climate uh, change and global warming. And you can uh, pitch your idea, you can create the uh, design and then later you can submit your design as well. Uh, so what you have to do is again, you have to create a project based on this theme. So you, you cannot be like, I done some uh, you know i done some project which is not related to uh, carbon emission or uh, glo uh, global warming or climate change but it is something else you cannot submit that here it has to be specifically related to the set topic so there are there's some video we'll just take a look at this Hope everyone is uh, and yeah. uh, there is some small issue like uh, I have planned the event uh, like just for one hour though. so the Zoom okay. meeting is created one hour so I need to extend it I think so so okay. I need to create a new link right for this no 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 it will continue it's not like it will end right after one hour so it will continue okay so you I have the yes please. you have the official uh, you got the lessons from Dan, right? Yes, yes, bro. So yeah, then it will continue. Dan, okay, okay. So yeah, I yeah, thought that after one hour it will end. So. Yeah, if you had the normal Zoom version, uh, it would stop after one hour. But since you have the official uh, you know, license for the Zoom, uh, it will continue. No need to worry about it. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, this again uh, like i said before uh, some some challenges are specific to students and they have to uh, be enrolled in some university and this is one of those challenges you have to be 18 years old and uh, you have to be enrolled in a school or a university to participate in this challenge again you will get free access to the dasa system solutions and again uh, in this challenge specifically in this challenge you will get mentoring uh, from the DASA system student community. So you can ask your questions related to this challenge. You can ask anyone who are organizing this challenge just for some information that you may want. 
you can get all those information from the Dasa system student community, which I showed you uh, while explaining about the uh, model media competition. And yes, again, creativity and your ideas. This is a great place for you to show off your talents. And but OK, you knew you got to know about these challenges and everything. You got to know how to participate. You got to know what are the challenges that are, that are there. But how, how to know about them? Where, from where should you get the details and the information regarding these challenges? So there are multiple ways from where you can get, get all these information regarding a new challenges or previously hosted challenges, which will be restarting again. Okay? So the first one is the 3D Experience Labs website. So 3D Experience Labs website has a dedicated page for the DASA system challenges. Can you see the screen? I'll share this in the chat. So here you can see what are all the uh, previous challenges that was uh, you know conducted, like the uh, Da Vinci challenge, drone thon and design your moon lander so fintech challenge was was amongst this so you can see all the previous challenges and you can if there are any new challenges you can see this see the challenges in this web page and the next one is uh, the 3d experience worldwide challenges this page so again this is one of the pages where from where you can get all the information regarding uh you know uh the challenges which will be happening yearly on a yearly basis like uh 3d experience uh, model mania which will be happening uh, on a yearly basis like formula student and uh, akriti project of the year uh, so you can see all the challenges which will be happening in the future so Right now, uh, climate action uh, climate action challenge is closed, but it is saying that it, it, it will be reopening soon. So you will get all the information here. And right now, F1 in schools, uh, Australia is open. So you'll get to know about the challenges here, about the status of the challenge, as well as the uh, when it will be opening or when it will be reopening again. Like project of the year will be reopening in the month of May. Akriti will also be reopening in the month of June. So yeah, this is one of, one more web page which you can uh, you know bookmark to know more about the challenges. I just share it in the chat. Sorry. Yeah, and the next is 3D Swim and SolidWorks user forms. So you'll get multiple, uh, uh, you know, posts. If there is a challenge conducted, you'll you'll see multiple posts, and you can know about the challenges if you are following these SolidWorks user forms or 3D Swim communities. Not just I'm not just talking about 3D experience video student, but there are multiple. Uh, you know, 3D swims like sort of a user forms or book information and app for kids and 3D uh, 3D experience edu professionals. So you you can get the information regarding the challenges from these uh, 3D swim communities as well. And again, if you want to search some specific challenges, what, what you can do is you can just type challenge in the search box of the 3D swim community, and you'll get all the posts that, that has that has the word challenge and you can search or you can filter again to see a specific challenge. This is again a great source of information uh, regarding the the social system challenges. And next, SolidWorks social media pages. Like SolidWorks has multiple social media pages. You might have known of in LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, or uh, there are SolidWorks group that is created in LinkedIn. So you can follow these communities to know more about the challenges. Like uh, in 3D Experience Lab, we'll be posting about the challenges, and someone will be someone might share that information to the SolidWorks uh, group in LinkedIn. So if you follow such groups in LinkedIn or maybe in Instagram, the system will uh, put a post regarding the challenge. So you'll get information from all the sites. So you don't have to worry about missing out on some of the information or some of the challenges. And not 
last last but not the least saltwork user groups so uh, user groups will also be sharing the information and details regarding the challenges like uh, if there are if there's a uh, if there is a 3d experience uh, model mania is coming up so we'll post on post it uh, on our meetup pages and if there is akriti challenge if we got to know that akriti is reopening soon that will be posted again in solidworks user group so you by following the solidworks user group not to, you'll not just know about the meetings but you will also get some information on these challenges or any other challenge which is hosted by the system you will also get an update on that so this is one of the uh, advantages of following the solidworks user groups so what about the what about other challenges like your college is participating in maybe sai competitions or paha supra uh, or fsa what about those yes uh, if you are if you are participating in any other challenge in any other challenges you can again ask for licenses official licenses from the sort like formula student challenge it may be an eco marathon or uh, like the solar car design challenge or first robotics competition where you have to design a robot uh, uh, for fight uh, the robot fighting thing and kpid sparkle so the sort system will also collaborate with companies to host challenges like recently the sort system collaborated with kpid for kpid sparkle and again some some challenges may be nationwide or some challenges may be worldwide so depending on collaboration the challenges are set if it is nationwide you can participate if you are in the same nation you can participate if it is worldwide you can participate anyways and again innovation for sustainability is one more challenge where you have you can submit your sustainable uh, design product design uh, product designs so if you are participating in any other uh, challenges what you can do is in the uh, the solutions in the, the challenges page there is a yeah as you can see here there is a category called other challenges so you can ask for 3d experience uh, licenses by filling out this form like i have pre filled this form so yeah like i've uh, i have mentioned my email and everything so here in the challenges list i have to mention uh, what challenge uh, i'm participating in and for what challenge i need the licenses so if i'm participating in sa aero design you can click on this or baha eco marathon robot first or if your challenge is not listed here you can click on not in the list and you can select the name of the challenge that you want to participate in and whether if uh, based on the participation uh, uh, you know criteria if you are participating alone you can put single or if you are participating group wise you can ask, again ask for a group license so based on that again you can uh, submit your request for licenses so uh, we are at the end of the session now uh, time for q and a's if you have any doubts regarding the solidworks challenges feel free to ask yes that was an amazing uh, session professor so uh, like mostly challenges which we have presented uh, for the students and uh, yeah. most, and the top three four events are presented here so the other challenges yeah. are also listed and then if the challenges is not also listed there you can also request the yeah. solve system means upon that and they will verify that and they will proceed with that so yes i hope everyone could have got uh, clear about the challenges and then uh, i think most people would have got many questions like because this is the first meeting and, uh, and many of my top now uh, don't know what the challenges are about so yeah. i got to know about the events by participating in the meetings like in solid or user group so in some other user group i have got heard about the event and then i have proceeded with the same so so what i have known about the events so what uh, we have tried to present it to you so that every participant would know about the uh, event and then they can proceed with the uh, challenges and they can also get benefited so there yes. is a question uh, from gautam so he has saw the question in linkedin yeah. like uh, uh, some user is like uh, requiring a sort of license for two clients but it is for his final year is that possible so what you can do is like uh, like i showed it, there is an option for other challenges right since your final year project uh, won't be under other challenges what you can do is you can request them for a license saying that i, I am uh, uh, you know i have a final year project which i want to do since your 
degree depends on the project. It would be great to have some 3D experience tools for you to simulate or to design. You can request for that as well, because since that is a project you're doing, not a competition, uh, so you can ask for that. And if it's not available, there is SolidWorks uh, sponsorship also. You can uh, send them a mail saying that uh, we need SolidWorks uh, sponsorship for our final year project, and it would be great to have uh, a SolidWorks student license for the create, to create the designs. You can request the, you, can, you can request in either other challenges category, or again, you can uh, request the SolidWorks sponsorship community. So these are the two options. But so far, uh, none, none of the college, uh, as far as I know, none of the college students have asked for, uh, you know, ask for a license for college project, but you can, again, uh, you can uh, verify it with the, the SolidWorks sponsorship team. So criteria for college projects, I do not know much about it because again, this is a, uh, this is not a challenge, but this is project specific and you will be participating in a group. I um, mean, you will be presenting your project in a group, but that is for your degree. That is, that project won't be, uh, you know, if you're participating in, in any of the challenges, there is a, uh, whatever the project you are, you have designed or anything, I think the system will have some IP over that, intellectual property over that. So your projects will come under that. If you're presenting, uh, I mean, if you're doing your final year projects, again, if there is a criteria for IP from the systems, you may have to worry about that as well since your projects will be under the system. So you can check with the, uh, with the DASO system sponsored community or other challenges category, like I said. Yes, uh, like it is important that it must be a challenge. So uh, like if it is a specific to the project, please, it will be difficult, And but you can try. You can give it a try so that you can proceed. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. exactly. Is there any, any other questions? Any other uh, questions? Akrut is uh, one, of, one of the most wonderful events which is conducted, especially for our country. So yes. in India, Akrut is conducted. And uh, yes. uh, I have seen in LinkedIn that uh, many of the people who have got winner and uh, got uh, selected in the event are now working as an intern at Tesol Systems. So I spoke with them and they told me that they have participated yes. in the event so they so that they got many uh, opportunities to directly uh, contact with the persons and then they have proceeded and then they got the yes. uh, uh, internship there. So after that, they will mostly, some of them will get into the placement and they can get selected. So one of the most notable persons yes. is uh, Nikhil, I think so. Tan yes, is uh, Nikhil him. is a social system employee now. And uh, I forgot his name. So I had recently contacted him. Uh, he is also one of the SolidWorks user group leader. Uh, I forgot his name, but yes, he also participated in participated in Akriti and he his team won second uh, second runner up position. And now he is again working as a Q and A uh, engineer at Tesla System Pune. So yes, the opportunities are more if you uh, you know win the competition in Akriti. So likewise, uh, like Nikhil, uh, there are many other persons who have been uh, working like that. So I will also call Nikhil to present to you. Uh, so he will also cool. share his experience and uh, yeah. we can make that work good. And many of yes. the people has asked me direct question like uh, how to learn design. So this is the first meeting. So I have planned to give an insight so that uh, so that only you can know about what they are going to be in this system. You can get... Uh, uh, like a spark so there is some challenges so we can do uh, some people are like do the process for the output so some people will learn like that so so what i only yes. decided to present like this so if you are into the event you can learn the design easily so you you will put some effort on the design and learning that and you can get so we can also proceed with many other yes. future events where we can start uh, from the scratch like uh, uh, like basics to the 3D modeling and uh, uh, like the rendering. And we have Yahya. Uh, I think he, yeah. I think, Is he here? Uh, I think he has joined and he has left. Okay. Okay. I thought he would uh, he would have seen you your first meeting. So 
yeah he curi- cu- already he is curious about your yeah, beauty right so uh, we have some special persons who are good at rendering tools and uh, he is one of the person who helps people to make render a good so if if you are doing some mistakes or else you need to improve some places he will be there in the first place and uh, we have many other persons like him so we will be uh, asking everyone to you present uh, in and you can also write oh, us an email that is amazing yeah you can also write us an email for uh, yeah. like if you have any suggestions like uh, if you need some other presentations like this so this is our idea so your idea will also be welcome to the most so that we can do the same one and uh, again i need to uh, i am going to present this uh, mr gautam and so he is the new leader so kerala sardu kesu group the chat box you can see the user group meeting link so like prasad and me he is one of uh, he is also now a user group leader so he also like started from the linkedin he he used to approach me for any uh, design doubts and uh, uh, how if he has any doubts he will ask me so after that only uh, after seeing my post in the linkedin he was also curious about the user group and he also thought how we can uh, make this useful to our state so that only he has started kerala solid user group and now he has started and uh, he is going to proceed with the meeting too so everyone please join that meeting too and i remember that uh, shout out uh, given in the uh, meeting i was presenting yes. at uh, yeah yali so i was getting shout out there and now i have reached about uh, 100 members in the uh, meetup group so yes and uh, is there any other person who has got some questions if you have any other questions you can ask here or uh, you know i'm also on linkedin so most of you uh, must have no i mean if if you don't know i'm also on linkedin and this is my email address you can directly re, uh, you know email whatever the questions you have to me or to you can also ask the questions to krishna and he'll redact the questions to me if it is relatable and also if i can help with the questions he'll, he'll forward the questions to me and if you want to ask uh, user group also my user group mail id is also there so you can ask the questions to either of the mails or you can just directly dm me on linkedin yes i will also shobi shorty will be available to you to uh, clear your queries and uh, yeah. prasad flow will also be there so you can contact any of us through linkedin or else through the user group mail and through prasad so yes so we can yeah uh, wind up the session and it's about yeah. and uh, i am really excited that Uh, i thought this like uh, only 5 to 6 members will join the meeting i i was happy that about 20 members have joined the meeting today and this is yes. the first meeting for prasad gopu so after he is being the host for several meetings he has now been the presenter for the first meeting of the sort of user group congratulations mr prasad yeah <laughs> thank you so much for having me krishna I, it was wonderful presenting even though it was my first time it didn't feel like it was the first time maybe because you know i was just giving introduction in the previous meetings but it was wonderful presenting in uh, in salt uh, in chennai it's just coming bangalore urban but no it is chennai sort of user group i had this fear and it came true <laughs> so yeah uh, thank you so much for having me and uh, thank you all for attending the session and you know getting to know uh, wanting to know more about sort of the system challenges appreciate all the support so one last question prasad what about your coffee with campaign event so yeah i have mailed a uh, few people you know to be the guests of that i am waiting for the response it's been i think it's been a week or something yeah, i am waiting for the response because first uh, since it's based on solworks champions i don't want to reveal who it is uh, it, i thought it would be best if we have him as our first guest so i have mailed him and i'm waiting for the the responses and once we have the first episode the next episode will be very quicker than the first one like i think it's been more than a month since i uh, uh, since i uh, you know uh, spoke about that uh, event uh, but yes i was a little busy as well and uh, now that i've mailed him after uh, i get a response from him 
it will be scheduled and yes it will be open and some on some fine day and after that yes it will it will go on like a piece of cake yeah so the coffee with campaign events is the one of the uh, podcast started by mr prasad po so it is a podcast which uh, calls us the champions all over the world so it's all the champions all over the world will be coming and they he will be interviewing and they will share their experiences on how they had become this sort of champion and uh, how they are sharing their knowledge to the world wide right? and everything so soon we can see that even uh, first episode very soon and uh, in the today's event we have also shared about many other ways you can share and uh, you can get many informations about the event so like from the community also there, there is official community for solid fusion members so you can surely don't forget to join there too we can get many uh, like small small events there too so if you present some uh, monthly events so they will be sending some goodies to encourage you to more participate in the event so don't forget to join there too and yes uh, yeah. we can let's go yeah and krishna thank you so much for having me and one suggestion from my end is that uh, i suggest you also encourage uh, physical uh, meetups Yes. that it will be very great and also you can reach to more people you know in your local area and also get to know more about who are interested in solid works and also to you gautaman so i started uh, doing physical events after a year and i realized that i was a little late but it's okay better late than never right so so i'm suggesting you right away so that you can improve more so you'll also get to know more about who is interested in solid works or designing who is interested in the solid systems by doing such physical events and thank you again for having me and thank you, i'm looking forward for your second uh, event yeah so surely we can uh, plan the second event soon and uh, we can also going to uh, we will be presenting uh, like we will be hosting new uh, physical events so as prasad pro said many cool. physical events will create more uh, more connectivity with the people so we can see first to face and we can have a good conversations so that we can know more about the person so we will yeah. be surely getting that too within a two months i guess we can be planning with that and yes we can proceed with the end of the meeting today so thank you so much everyone yeah. for being here today one more thing uh, just a small thing so yeah. uh, we have our physical attendees here Uh, yes so we have four physical attendees yeah so, so it is like a hybrid event because uh, prasad yeah. pro is there presenting us virtually and he also uh, posted the meeting in this solid oak user group so that attendees can come in person and attend the meeting so it's kind of a i have even event. know their name i just i just need to introduce the uh, i just need to get to know them a little after this meeting Yeah. so yeah it was great having you all here i'll just introduce myself later but yeah thank you for coming so i thank think there will be totally uh, 25 participants completely i think so yeah yeah the virtual great. participants and 20 and four virtual participants so thank you so much everyone uh, we can meet us uh, meet us in the next meeting so until then goodbye thank you thank you everyone bye Have a bye. great weekend bye